Jin Dobri Cheshun Hello. Today, guys, we're going to be talking about five Polish habits that I think, for the most part, Americans wouldn't really understand. So, before this video gets started, I just want to say that most of these are really just generalizations and they're not completely 100% true. So, anyways, guys, let's just get started. So, the first time I was walking around in Poland, I saw a Babcha walking around with a plastic bag, and the plastic bag had an HM logo on it. So, I'm thinking, wow, this old lady is actually shopping at HM. I was so shocked, but no, in reality, this lady is carrying around this plastic bag basically just to reuse it and to transport stuff from place to place so I actually found this really interesting because I saw a lot of other people reusing bags and then the first time I actually had to pay for a bag I was shocked and it's not something that we have to do here but stores are now starting to implement that like Lidl is starting to do that all these is I think as well and I hope Walmart does eventually because honestly it's a really good thing that we should be doing is basically just charging people for the bag and this is going to incentivize people to basically just use more reusable bags and this will be better for the environment so yeah and i think polish people all in all are more resourceful due to like communist times when they you know didn't have the options to everything before you know they basically had to be creative about what they were doing and because of this i think it's made polish people a lot more resourceful now especially all right so the second one is hard working and on average polish people work 42 and a half hours a week compared to in the u.s that's 33 and a half hours a week so yeah this is quite different and honestly i was shocked to see that the average amount of time worked a week is less than 40 hours in the u.s honestly i thought that was more especially with some of the jobs that i've worked at especially in construction in like the summertime you know you're working over 40 hours a week guaranteed so yeah that was quite interesting to see but yeah polish people work on average a lot more than Americans. Let me know your reasoning down below. Is it simply because they have to work so much simply to pay rent or is it because they're working so much just to work so much? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm quite curious. All right, so the third one on this list is hospitality and this is honestly my favorite. The first time I went over to Poland, I was greeted with the most amount of hospitality I've ever had in my life and honestly, I was so shocked. It was like confusing because I walk into the door of my girlfriend's house and there's like drinks, food, laid out all over the table everyone's there greeting me it was kind of overwhelming for me but at the same time it just felt so nice and it was just such a kind gesture to have and to feel and it was just very amazing very nice but yeah honestly it really just sets the vibe every single time i go there it just feels so nice and welcoming every single time i go and i mean i felt hospitality in the u.s to some degree but it is not even close to what i have felt in poland definitely not even even close like people aren't all over you welcoming you you know giving you drinks and stuff like that making sure you feel welcome it's it's not to the degree that poland is and because of that it's just it really sets poland apart from the u.s all right so the next one on this list is being into nature and yes this is kind of generalizing and there's lots of americans that are into nature and things like that but polish people are really into foraging like mushroom foraging and blueberries slash like berry foraging currants and you know all of that stuff and this is really not as popular as it is in Poland compared to as it is in the States. And seeing people into mushroom foraging and blueberry foraging honestly makes me think that this is probably stemmed from the communist era when food was really on rations and people, you know, had to stand in line for food and they were only allowed a certain amount. I'm guessing that, you know, you could basically just go in the woods and find your food there. And in some cases that was probably easier. So I'm guessing it stemmed from that, but I'm not completely sure. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think and yeah this was definitely something that was really interesting to me because i've never seen or met an american that's ever said you know they like to go mushroom foraging or blueberry foraging i've just never really seen it i know some people are definitely into that and stuff but it's just not as popular as it is in poland all right so the last one on this list is sincerity and honestly i feel like poles are the number one winners of this so you know i feel like in america everyone has kind of like a poker face going on you can never really tell truthfully under the surface people's emotions you know i feel like in the u.s everyone has this poker face of ha 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 i'm happy everything's great all the time i just got shot i'm so happy everything's great and honestly it's kind of ingrained in the language like 
if you just ask someone, hey, how are you doing? Oh, good. How about you? And really, you're not good. You know, so it's kind of a part of the language as much as it is our own, you know, culture, I guess. But now comparing this to Poland, this is much different. I mean, you can walk down the street and you're not going to have someone smiling at you and faking their happiness for you. Or, you know, if you meet someone and they're smiling, you know that they're actually happy versus, you know, if they're frowning or they're upset, you actually know they're upset. So yeah, it's just definitely different than in the US. And I feel like it's really nice because it's way easier to read people in Poland than it is in the US. Like you can just talk to someone and on the surface level, they're doing great. They're so happy in all of this, but then like underneath the surface, they're completely not. So yeah, it's just a big thing in the US compared to Poland is that, you know, Polish people are way more sincere with how they actually feel towards you and just how they feel in general. So yeah, this was something that was really cool, honestly, and something I, I actually really love about Poland and Polish people. All right, guys, so that was five Polish habits that I think Americans wouldn't really understand. And it's just something that I really like about Poland and Polish people in general. So if you have any more, let me know in the comment section down below, or if there's any that you like about Americans, let me know in the comment section down below as well. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Dziękuję i do widzenia.